B-Rat here, Buzz TV. Another fun night, Friday, vamp. Who did I catch up with? Anne Boleyn. How you doing? You know what? I think we were with you last night. So this is two days, two shoots, two states, two venues, one band. Yep. Incredible. <laughs> Rockin'. Great, great set, guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. So first, last night in the whiskey. Yep. How did that show? First night of the tour. Tell us about it. Awesome. Great. Yeah. You know, yeah. a lot of people came out. It was freaking great. Yeah. And, and it's it was even more great because it was only the fourth time we ever played together yeah, in our right. first show. So, yeah. so um, yeah, yeah. We're, it's I'm I'm honored to have such a, a accomplished group of musicians playing in Hellion. Every every lineup of Hellions every that's ever been has been better than the last. And um, I mean, no disrespect to anybody that's ever been in Hellion, but. Uh, these guys rock. Y you know, fourth show together, I would never guess that from what I saw. You guys were actually incredibly tight, but you're all seasoned players, so again, that doesn't shock me. In fact, when we get, our, you know, let's just do this and introduce ourselves and some stuff you've done for the people that really don't know you yet. Sure, yeah. Maxwell Carlisle, I'm lead guitar in Hellion, of course. I've also uh, done some work with Death Riders, the thrash band led by Neil Turbin of Anthrax. I also have a solo band that's like some crazy shredder stuff and that kind of thing. Oh, very cool. <laughs> crazy shredder stuff. <laughs> yeah, Scott Warren. Um, I played with Ronnie for about 17 years. Ronnie, James Dio in uh, Heaven and Hell and Dio. I played with Keel, I played with Berlin, I played with Warren, I played with... Um, Typo negative. I guess typo negative. Yeah, yeah. Can't forget that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and anything else I've forgotten. <laughs> you know, I remember the Dio days only because I booked the very first Dio show they had in Vegas in 84. Um, that was the Dragon Tour. What was that? that was, well, that was before me, but oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm not that old, but <laughs> no, actually I am. Well, that's why I use purple, so you can't tell with the gray in my hair. Yeah. <laughs> now the new album. Tell us about it. Well, um, just like the band, um, it came together very fast. And um, we rehearsed a couple of days in the studio. It was originally myself, Max, Bjorn, England, and um, God, who am I forgetting? Simon. Oh, Simon. God. Simon, I mean, yeah. Who should yeah. be here right that now? Guy. That guy. That guy. <laughs> so, anyway, we rehearsed three days. We went into the studio. And um, then, when we, once we got in the studio, I had some keyboards myself, and I said, mm -hmm. Why am I doing this? We got Scott. So Scott, Scott <laughs> exactly. added a whole, took a whole nother level oh, to it. thank you. Yeah. And uh, did a wonderful contribution. So he's had, part of this now from now on. Had and, a great uh, producer on it too. Yeah. Ken Scott, I mean, and Wynn Davis, the, yeah, the engineer. Yeah. It, was, it was recorded the old fashioned way yeah. where people go into a studio and um, all together play yeah. music at the same time. Yeah, that's unusual these days, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, uh, were you lucky enough and used tape in that adventure as well? No, we didn't, but we used all the old board and out outboard gear. Yeah, old like analog board. Oh, yeah. very nice. Yeah. All, all the old outboard gear. Yeah. Now, yeah. this tour, as it just started, where are we off to next? Because we're going to try to get this up really quick. Oh, good. So they will know where to come. Where are you off to next? Mesa, Arizona. Mm -hmm. Oh, Arizona's fun, and it's not hot anymore. Is that, yeah. where, was that where we're going? Tomorrow, yeah, or tonight. <laughs> Some, tomorrow. We'll see you there. <laughs> that, that's it. You just get on the bus and you hope you end up in the right I city. I hope I yeah. wake up. We hope the bus driver knows where he's going. <laughs> you know, I've been on one of those buses and uh, we were in the wrong city, so I've had those intentions. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> How did this whole thing come together with the new players and the band? Is it one of those things where you made calls or did it just magically happen? Well, it, it's a long story, you know. Um, Followed by a, a bu you know bunch of kind of unfortunate situations, you know, I had an opportunity to go to Japan and do this tour, you know, basically uh, doing songs that Ronnie Dio had done. But for, the offer was for a lot of money, and I turned it down because I, I was uncomfortable with it. And um, so after that, there there started a whole bunch of rumors um, that I wasn't going to play anymore, that I wasn't singing, you know, all this kind of stuff. My career is done, and at a certain point in time, you know, blabbermouth, all this stuff starts going on. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I've been rocking since I think I came out of the womb, and to hear those kind of things was very hurtful to me. Some of it was really ugly. And um, Simon said, you know, there's just one way to solve this problem, let's go record something. Yeah, there you and, go. Uh, I, and I had been, you know, thinking about recording something for a while, you know, so 
So uh, that's ultimately what happened. And, and um, we looked around, we talked to a bunch of guitar players. I tried really hard to um, bring the, the original guys back together, but um, everybody's got different situations, you know, different family responsibilities, obligations. And um, so we just basically, it was myself and Simon initially. Um, Max was recommended by Dave Reffitt and also Michelangelo Badio. And um, we hit it off right, right away. Yeah. And we, we brought Bjorn in because Bjorn had played with Simon before yeah. and then Scott. And it, uh, it just came together. And you have a great band. So it, to me, it looks like it turned out all for the best. It did. As it does. Yes, it does. Now, at this point in time, sponsorships, anyone we want to give some love to? Well, that's a good question because we're really, um, we are, we are um, how do I say it? We just started this tour and people knew that we, you know, have a tendency of having some people around that like to party. So when they found out about our, you know, tour, Fireball sent us a whole bunch of, of, of goodies. So that oh, was pretty cool. And it's we not, we're not really Fireball. endorsed. We're not really endorsed by them, but, you know, they're, they're friggin' great people and great company, and you send us stuff all the time, and hey, you know. <laughs> and they have some great liquor, so you can't, can't ask for anything uh, more than that. Um, yeah. Now something, let's see, before we end this, is there anything that we might have left out that they need to know? Well, come on the website, uh, www.hellion.us, and it's a great community of people, really, you know, and there's links right down here, so just click it. There are. You'll and, be to, um, down there. Right down here. Well, down there. Right there. Right and Facebook there. too, you know. <laughs> Facebook, uh, great community of people there. And you'll find all that. You'll be, get links to the music. Get the new CD. It is an ass kicker. And really want to thank everybody for their support because without the support of everybody over all these years, we wouldn't be doing this. Now we have something that we uh, do here and Shana didn't do last night, which is actually a good thing because it leaves me to do this. If I could find this, because it is here somewhere and it's a little game we call Roll the Bones. You got a lot of dirty pictures on there. Damn straight I do. Well, you know, <laughs> you do what you got to do. I do work for a male strip show, so you know, that's... That's nothing new. Oh, man, am I not going to be able to find it? You might have got away lucky tonight. What is it, a quiz? No, it's actually something a little more fun than that. It's a random question game. Okay. And since I didn't bring it, you guys are going to be lucky and escape tonight. Good. Damn it. No, Roll the Bones is actually a fun thing. Every band we've ever played this loves it because maybe three of the 20 questions have to deal with music. And the rest are just <laughs> questions that all. Yeah. Yes. Cool. I like that. I was on a show called Comedy Central with Dweezil Zappa, and uh, yeah, uh, and it was, <laughs> and I and I was in on the show with Berlin, which who I was playing with at the time, the band Berlin, and our opponent was Warrant, who I had played with, you know, ten years before that, whatever. And <laughs> the question that I they gave me was, what is the name of the arch? that separates East Berlin and West Berlin. And I've walked at, through this arch, right, a million times. And I went, What's, what was it? Question? <laughs> it was the, the Brandenburg Gate. You know, it's like, shit. I've never been there, but I've yeah. heard of that. Scott, yeah. you're waffling. <laughs> you're waffling. You're going to bore everybody to death. <laughs> the Brandenburg Gate. The Brandenburg Gate. Well, Brandenburg Concerto, right? Brand there you go. So I guess since I can't find the questions and I won't just make these up because it's, cause I can't just pull a question out of my ass. That wouldn't be nice. But you know what I'll do? I'll get a hold of Brenda. Next time, I'll right? get a hold of Brenda, and I'll have her just ha ask you guys pick a number out, and I'll text the question. Oh no! Yeah. So All we right. will get this eventually. Yeah. Um, it really is a fun game, um, unless you get maybe the uh, ever been to jail question. <laughs> Or 20. 20 is a, a good question. 20 is blow. That's usually when I pull a bre pocket breathalyzer out and we find out who was drunk on stage. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we do have a lot of fun. But we're going to end this. The band's been here. They've been great. They're tired. they got to do some, I think it's fireball time if I'm correct. At least for me it is. And then we got to get them to Arizona. Right. I appreciate everything, guys. It was Thank more you. than a pleasure. 
B-Rad, Buzz TV, Hellion, the amazing Anne Boleyn, and if I'm correct, didn't you coin the phrase speed metal? Well, that's what some, some historians have said. I had a rec uh, radio show on K-Rock in the 70s. It was called Speed Metal Hell. I remember K-Rock back then. Yep, I think I night to six. I won Partier of the Night one night. Yep. Yeah, I don't know if you remember they had that, that uh, on the air. It was one of those in the middle of the night they had those contests. I wonder if that was my show. I was working some crazy job, and at 3 a.m., it was like, I'll call. We're up all night partying yeah, anyway. That was it. I used to have people like, hey, I'm hungry. Uh, can somebody bring some food down to the station? <laughs> hey, I'm thirsty. Can somebody bring some beer? And it happened. And it, did. it did. Well, look, guys, we're going to run. I appreciate everything. I thank you for the time, and it's truly been my pleasure. Max, no problem. you thank are you. a shredder. Thank Definitely. you very much. We're out of here, guys. See ya. See ya.
Yeah. <laughs>